morning, chaps. We're in a bit of a blizzard. I must admit, when I opened the curtains this morning, I didn't expect to see the whole garden snowed over. It's hailing a little bit. And uh, I must say, I've not been quite as excited about a dog walk as I have today. So, I think we're going to have a walk around Clumber, enjoy this wonderful scenery, which nobody's been on. I can see I'm the first person here. And uh, I suppose you don't want to suffer my uh, nasal and mouth breathing, so I'll put some music over it. And for those of you who complain about the music, there's a mute button. You don't want to hear me going <sighs> all the way around here. Anyway, let's enjoy this. <laughs> Go on then, Reg. So, you can hear the bells. I decided to take a different route this morning and go the long way around the lake. And I was definitely rewarded with that little peak of that herd of deer. Is it a herd? I'm not sure. Now, of course, I'm just shooting on a Samsung S10. And they were quite far away, so some of the footage is shaky because I had to zoom in ten times which is the maximum I can do on this phone and uh, those deer are certainly not habitualized whatsoever so if you're downwind or they catch a glimpse of you first they're off we're not at a farm park <laughs> so I feel really lucky to get a picture of those I mean you can come to Cumber Park a hundred times and never see them so I'm a lucky boy this morning I'm glad I made the effort and got out of bed before the sun came up. So, walk is no, by no means over. In fact, I'm barely halfway around and I've already done about 4K because I chose the long way around the lake and I've got no alternative now but to go over the bridge and go all the way back. So we'll see if we can grab a few more picturesque shots of maybe the church and I don't know, maybe some of the old walled kitchen garden if we go past it. And then we'll go over the ford as normal. And up to the car. And then into work today. Where, you know what? I've not even thought about what I'm going to do. That's how much I'm enjoying it. Right, let's carry on. Just before we carry on give you an idea I'm parked here we walked through here through Cabin Hill Covert all the way down here and then across here right through this section here and then we've come across the Long Valley and pretty much 
around this area here is where I just spotted the deer and I'm stood there now we're going to go over this bridge walk all the way back along here go through Ash Tree Hill Wood through Hardwick, Hardwick Village across the ford and then back up the hill across here where we turn back and usually take a photograph of the village back to the car there's no scale on this map but I'll let you know how far it was because I'm clocking it Traverse the slippery ford. It is rather slippery sometimes. Chances of having a little drink. That's about it. We've just got to walk up that field, boys and girls, ladies and gents, fellas, and uh, off to work we go. We've got some lovely young mookus. Get back, boys. What breed are you, fellas? You're interesting, aren't you? I have no idea. But you look like you're all waiting for some food. Reggie, calm your beans, my friend. Sit down. Sit. I don't think he likes the look of you. Hey, boys. Well, they're watching the dog more than me. We'll leave them to their morning, uh, whatever they do. Oi, boys. Road there. Oi. Get back. The farmer might be coming to feed his cows. Certainly looks like that's what they're waiting for. I didn't check, but... Were they cows? Imagine if you tried milking one. You got it wrong. Well there we go folks, just shy of 9k this morning, that's not bad going is it, let's go to work. Well after such a glorious walk this morning, the day has absolutely got away with me, we're at 3.27 already, I've been upstairs and I've been, I'll give you a bit of a peek, I've been editing our menu for the spring. Give you a bit of an idea of what we're doing in here. Well, not in the brewery, but in the pub. All this lovely stuff. And we've got like an extensive burgery menu. We've got some mains. We're keeping some favourites. I actually had the rib of beef last night, but last night it wasn't the barbecue version, so we've switched that up. Um, yeah, Martin came over. He had some lamb. The lamb's gone off the menu. Uh, what else have we got on here? The sausage and mash is staying. We were thinking about taking that off, but we're keeping it. 
and we're keeping the hot dog. I was going to take that off, but that's another. It's a cellar. And we've got a kiddies menu and some desserts. And I suppose where you're watching, you'll either be thinking, desserts for 4 95 That's really expensive if you're up north. Whereas if you're in London, you'll be going, oh my god, they're really cheap. But we're about in the middle here at Retford. I still consider us South Yorkshire, to be honest. But in the 70s, they, they grouped us into Bassett Law and tagged us onto North Knots, believe it or not. But South Yorkshire all the way, I think. Anyway, uh, salads and sides. More sides than salads for me, boys and girls. Then we've got a Sunday menu. And then something that we're trying now, um, now that coronavirus restrictions have completely gone, it's all down to personal preference. And we get people standing around at the bar and all that kind of thing. We've got a bar menu, which it does not form part of the main menu. But it does indeed uh, form part of what we're preparing in the kitchen. And it's all homemade stuff. Or, you know, we're not at home, but you get what I mean. Um, so, yeah, this stuff's all going to be like served in compostable or biodegradable pots. With a wooden fork to be eaten at the bar. So you don't, you're not going to get seated and waited upon with this kind of tackle. But it means that you don't have to spend... A fortune on a main course if you just want to stand there and share some cheesy chips with your missus. So, as well as sorting out the menu, we've also been wrestling with some of the office furniture and trying to make it look a little bit neater than it was. I mean, this was just...